What is something that everyone should experience at least once in their lifetime? The night sky without light pollution. Seeing the Milky Way bright and clear in all its glory is an unbelievably inspirational experience. Got that experience in the Navy. When you hit that spot in the middle of the Atlantic where there's no significant human population for at least 1,000 miles in all directions, the night sky is absolutely breathtaking. Came here to say this. Standing outside and you can't see your hand in front of your face, but the Milky Way is so bright. It would take forever to count all of the stars. I've only ever got to see something like that in a planetarium show. Hopefully I get to experience the real thing sometime. Being taught by a good teacher who is passionate about the subject and the students. Being financially stable. A meteor shower, away from the lights of the city. Edit, rip my inbox. Thanks for the silver. Just looking at the stars far away from the city is an entirely different experience. Same with hearing the loudness of nature on a warm summer night. The night sky was probably one of the only things that I enjoyed about my time working in the commercial maritime shipping industry. It was absolutely breathtaking to be in the middle of absolutely nowhere, with thousands of miles from the nearest land, and look up at the endless amounts of stars in the sky. Seeing the ocean. Yes. It may not seem like a big deal to people that live near it but as someone that was born and raised in the Midwest, it took me 30 years to get to an ocean and it blew my mind. I live 30 minutes from the ocean, so I find this highly disturbing. Getting their ass kicked in something they originally thought they were good at it's truly a humbling experience. Closing 76 tabs after a school project. Ah, so that's what people call it nowadays. Well, you can save most memorable articles to your homework folder for later reference. Staying up all night chatting with a friend about anything and everything. Nothing quite like it. Also taking a really satisfying crap that's been bothering you all day. Yes having a shit to finish the day is amazing. Feeling loved edit, to anyone out there who feels unloved, know that there is likely someone out there who does love you. If not romantically, then in how they'd miss you if you were gone. In how you brighten their day with your presence. In how they look forward to seeing you and are glad you are here. Go out and find these people and invite them deeper into your life. Love is something that comes back to you strongest when you give it freely. P.S. Thanks for the gold. I know we just met, but I love you. When do we get married? Sex first, answer later. Let me sleep on it. Walking about really late at night with one good mate and just talk about life etc. There's just something so soothing and calm about it. Edit, holy crap, thanks for my first gold silver kind stranger. Just woke up and did not expect this to blow up as much as it did. Also ripped my inbox lol. Did this a lot as a teenager with my buddies. We still do when we all meet up in our hometown. Our parents thought we were smoking drinking being miscreants. Well if I saw my kid with 4x in his name gamer tag, I'd wonder as well. Fair. A sunrise on the beach. Edit, thank you for the silver. How about a sunset on the beach? Just the three of us. You, me, and this brick wall that you built between us. Eight hours of sleep. Restful sleep I had ten hours last night but it didn't do me any favors edit, getting comments about sleep apnea or other issues. I'm fine, I know why it happened. However, my dad has sleep apnea and after living with him and going through his diagnosis and treatment process with him, I can't recommend enough that people consider it when thinking about their sleep health and that people seek help for it. To be loved. I mean, really loved by someone other than a family member. This makes me sad. Being important to someone. By that I mean realizing it, because chances are you're already important to someone. Edit 1, I suddenly learned to write. Edit 2, I think this comment got more people sad than I intended, I'm sorry. Quick fix though and I really mean it, get a dog. One who needs you before even knowing you. Life in the streets is really rough on humans, people who can talk, ask for help and know better how to get warm. Imagine how hard it is on dogs and also cats sometimes. You can make a huge difference in a life that, although a bit different, is as precious as any human life. Hashtag X200B, also thanks for the golden on. Losing that is something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy though. Edit, 
You are all beautiful people and if anyone needs to talk, PM me. Yeah it's rough when it happens repeatedly too. I had a friend through grade school up to high school where we went to different schools and I tried to keep in contact. She told me basically I don't have time for you. These days it's co-workers I've talked to sometimes all day every day who change jobs and I never hear from again, or gaming friends that do the same. It's just how it is now I guess. Single serving friends like in Fight Club. I lost all long-term best friends after high school and never found new ones. The rush of adrenaline and the sudden realization of how mortal you are that can only come from near death. When your life flashes before your eyes. Yes I can relate. Care to share your experience? I'm interested. I was racing go-karts one day and I came around a really fast bend while I was lining up to overtake a fellow racer. I only so slightly touched the ripple strip, bumpy edge of a turn, but it was enough to throw my cart off towards a tire wall. Unfortunately for me it had been raining for a few weeks beforehand and the mud and silt had made their way into the tire barrier. It had hardened and turned the tire wall into a concrete wall. I hit the slight bend with so much speed that I was unable to do anything but just watch the tires approach. Didn't have time to brace. I recall it going quite slow and taking an eternity, but eventually I hit the wall and was instantly unconscious. I woke up on top of the wall for a second, then lost consciousness again. Next time I woke up I was in the back of an ambulance. It was surreal. Apparently if I was slightly shorter I would have crushed my ribs and lungs against the steering wheel and probably lost my life. Not having time to brace is usually what helps you in these types of things too. I got rear-ended by a guy going 60 miles per hour when I was at a dead stop at a light, and I didn't see him coming so I didn't brace either. I went so hard into my seatbelt that it threw me back into my seat, which I broke, and walked away with no injuries and had no pain the next day, somehow. Same thing with drunks, they never see their accidents coming and a ton of them walk away unscathed, can't say the same for the people they hit, though. Of course, bracing or not bracing doesn't matter in situations where you actually get crushed or get a metal rod through you or something, but it does seem to make a difference in some cases. The warmth of another body. Sex is great but have you ever got 100% on a video game? Yes. I have all 120 stars in Super Mario 64, this also qualifies me as a plumber. Does 100% on Lego Indiana Jones qualify me to be a dog? I got 100% on the first Lego Star Wars game for PS2. I've been a qualified slapstick, plastic Jedi since 2005. Seeing the Northern Lights Located entirely within your kitchen? Well, can I see it? No. Seymour, you are an odd fellow, but you steam a good ham. Seymour, the house is on fire. It's just the Northern Lights, mother. He help. Traveling alone edit. I'm not saying traveling alone is better than traveling with friends or a loved one. I'm just saying it should be tried once. Everywhere I've ever traveled, I've seen solo female travelers as well. I can't give specific advice because I'm not a female and honestly have no idea what they go through, but I know women do it. Do you like it? I travel alone every week or so and sometimes it's nice but more often than not I find it extremely lonely. I'm guessing this is for work. There is a difference in doing it for work and for fun, you get to choose the destination schedule etc. Plus, you generally do not just stay in a hotel, more likely a hostel or a social place where it's easy to meet people. Traveling alone for fun is what I call experiencing true freedom. The key isn't that you can do whatever you want, more like, you are the one setting your own limits and it feels great. Have a late night talk or hang out with your friends without getting absolutely trashed. I've had this with my childhood friends whenever someone comes home from abroad or someone gets married, we take a day off, or half, at work and do a small reunion. No one seems to notice how late it gets, we would just talk and drink, alcoholic and non-alcoholic, no pressure on which ones to get, play cardboard games, listen to someone play the guitar, reminisce school, talk about the future, anything goes. I feel like everyone should at least experience this, it's so chill.